I can't be the only one who's gone through times where I'm like, do good people even exist anymore? Like, I've tried trusting people again after my trust was broken. I've tried believing people again after someone or more than one person were dishonest with me. I've tried seeing the best in someone when, you know, those who I've done that to in the past just took advantage of it and, you know knew that I was the kind of person who's very forgiving, very kind, and that I would forgive, and that I would try to see the best in their bad behavior. And so I would always tell myself, you know, this is a new person. They deserve a fresh new look that's not through the lens of the pain that someone else caused you in the past. And I would try again, and it would be the same result. And then I would just sit in this state of doom, really, where I would feel like everybody's like this and there are no good people out there and you know it's better to just turn into a cold rock that has no feelings and protect myself you know I used to go through that a lot in the past now when thoughts like that cross my mind I'm able to talk myself through them and try to understand why I'm thinking that way, why I'm feeling that way, and what it comes down to, and I really want you to listen, like I'm saying this from my heart to yours, if someone like you exists, then there are good people out there. There are people who mean what they say. There are people who keep their promises. There are people who tell the truth every time they speak and when they're worried that your reaction to the truth might not be what they want they will still be honest with you they won't be dishonest and then later say to you well if i had told you the truth like you would have reacted in this way or that way there are people out there who won't betray you there are people out there who will see the goodness in you and the kindness in you and say, that's so beautiful. They'll see your vulnerability and not take advantage of it and not think, oh, I can take advantage of that person because, you know, they are somebody who has shown me something about them that is, you know, weak when really it's not weak. There are people who will look at you and the things about yourself that you think make you weak they believe that they make you strong. There are people out there like that. And anytime you feel this way where you're losing hope in some way, just remember that about yourself. And all that matters is that you focus on making yourself a better version of yourself every single day and to learn more about yourself, to discover yourself, to value yourself instead of trying to make sense of other people. You know, when you get so caught up in what if this person treats me that way as a result of my goodness, my honesty, my whatever good thing it is, then you are basing the worthiness of whatever trait you have on what other people see, what other people do. No, you can do that for yourself. I used to always go through moments in life in general where I would have that doom as well. Like, for example, when I would think of climate change, I would think the same thing. Like, what's the point of doing anything? There's billions of people out there who don't care. There's celebrities who, you know, are very reckless with their decisions when it comes to the environment. Like, what is one little thing that I'm going to do going to make a difference in? And the thing is, there is hope out there that if we look for it, we will find it. There is information out there that if we were to seek it and hold on to it, it would really make a difference. Like, I didn't know this and maybe you didn't know it either, but last month the Inflation Reduction Act in the States became law. And you might be thinking, well, what does that even mean? I didn't know what it meant either until I looked into it. But... It really means that by 2030, the U.S. will be able to reduce its emissions by 40% less than what they were in 2005, which is incredible. It means that by 2050, the goal of net zero emissions is actually possible. And when I read that, I was like, 
oh my god like everything i'm seeing on the news that is just evidence that we're headed towards doom like what's the point of really doing anything that has to do with the environment when you see all these catastrophes happening all over the world well here's a glimmer of hope and it's the same thing when we look for evidence that every person out there is bad and every person out there is going to hurt me every person out there is going to somehow betray me or walk away or you know break my trust or whatever it is right when you look for that evidence, that's what you'll see. But when you look for that hope, that's also what you'll see. And when you focus on you carrying that hope and working by it and carrying it forward, that's all that matters. That's all that's in your control. You cannot make people good people. You can make yourself a good person, a better person. You cannot make people tell the truth. You can work on being an honest person yourself and valuing that honesty within you. You cannot make people choose to be there with you for as long as they've promised to be there with you. What you can do is learn more about yourself to value yourself enough to not equate your worthiness by how willing someone is to stay, right? So the next time that thought crosses your mind, like, there aren't any more good people in the world. Just look at yourself in the mirror and say, I am evidence that there are good people out there in the world. I hope this helps.